At a time when Congress just seems to get more and more divided, a group of Democratic senators has proposed a new bill to curb gun violence. The Go Safe Act aims to regulate the internal mechanisms of semi-automatic firearms to make those weapons less lethal without having to outright ban them. Joining me now is the lawmaker spearheading this effort, New Mexico Democratic Senator Martin Heinrich. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Walk us through exactly what this bill would do. How would it change semi-automatic weapons? Well, what we've seen time and again in uh, what we often term assault rifles is the combination of a large capacity magazine with a gas-operated action that can can uh, function very, very quickly. And it's that combination of being able to fire very quickly and reload very quickly that really contributes to the mass scale of some of the shootings that we're seeing. Uh, we limit all of that in a way that's consistent with existing court rulings and see this as an opportunity to uh, hopefully turn back the clock on what has been a horrible rash of mass shootings in recent years. You're not necessarily the most obvious person for this, if I, if I can say. You're a lifelong gun owner in a state where a lot of people have guns. And permits, I think, uh, it permits the open carry of loaded firearms. Uh, but also in 2021, New Mexico had the third highest gun death rate among states. Yeah. It's, it's a situation you know well. But why this, why now in particular? Well, I really started working on this approach after the Las Vegas mass shooting, which was one of the worst we had, we had ever seen. And uh, the approach was to really look at the internal mechanisms, not the cosmetics of these firearms. I don't care if a gun has a folding stock or a pistol grip. I care how deadly it is. And these firearms uh, are in the same sort of... Uh, uh, the same sort of bucket as things like fully automatic weapons, uh, sawed-off shotguns that we have regulated for nearly a century. Uh, and I think it's long past due that we take an approach that's really rooted in the, the physical mechanisms that make some of these firearms so dangerous. Yeah, when you talk about Las Vegas, I covered um, that shooting. I think yeah. it's easy to forget that 60 people died there. I think more than 400 were injured. Um, but. There was not major change after that. There was not major change after Newtown, after Sandy Hook, where 20 little kids died, six adults died. Are you hearing from others? Are you hearing from people who have typically been against any kind of regulation of firearms that this might be something that could work for them? I'm, I'm running into more and more gun owners like myself who just simply think that the status quo is unsustainable. And more and more gun owners who actually own some of these uh, assault-style rifles who are more than willing uh, to, uh, you know, to have them regulated in a way that addresses the kind of carnage that we're seeing in state after state after state. Let me ask you really quickly, we only have a minute left, but we know that these are the weapons of choice for school shooters, for many other mass shootings. But a lot of people say, you know what, there's so many of them out there already, even a change like this would only be a blip. What would your response be? We actually build a voluntary gun buyback program into this legislation. So there are probably between 20 and 30 million of these AR-15 style rifles out in circulation. But over time, that number would come down under our legislation. Senator Martin Heinrich, we will keep posted on this, and I hope you'll come back and talk Thank to you. us about it. Thank you. And you still bet. ahead, how those directly impacted by January 6th are reacting to the controversial decision by the House Speaker over footage taken that day. We'll talk about it next.